Good morning. Good morning, United. Good morning, friends. This morning I woke up and I woke up early and I had a little bit of energy. So I went down to my office and I was working and I started hearing somebody say, Mom. And I thought, wow, sounds a little like my son, but I'm not so sure it's him. It started worrying me a little bit. So I called my son and there was no answer. So I went back to my business and probably about 30 minutes later, I heard this sound, Mom, Mom. And so, again, I looked around, I called my son down, I was like, stop playing, stop calling me, this is not funny, don't do this, this is really not funny. And so my son was like, I didn't call your name, and I heard him come from another part of the house, and I'm like, somehow, maybe he's saying it through the vent, he's playing some kind of joke on me, or something. So the last time that happened, I was like, sit here, we're going to wait. And so after waiting about a couple of minutes, we heard it, mom. Mom. And so I really began to get worried. Well, after minutes of searching, we found out it was my Fitbit. And every time someone texted me, this Fitbit would go off. And the sound it made was, Mom, Mom. So we discovered what was wrong. I shared that story with you to say that we're in a season where we're a little bit on edge. I was a little worried this morning with the mom coming through what seemed like the vent, when really it was just my Fitbit sitting up on the cabinet. We're concerned, we're on edge. We're reading all kind of news reports. We're hearing all kind of claims. We're hearing people dying, people making videos. We are overloaded with news, and we're concerned, and we're worried, and it's okay. So I wanna be the first pastor going on record saying, I'm concerned. I'm concerned about what I'm hearing. I'm sure some of you all are too. So I have three phrases for you. Stay home, stay connected, and stay positive. Stay home. Please, 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 I can't say it enough, please, if you don't need to be out here, please honor the orders that have been given by our governor. Please stay at home. Second, I wanna say stay connected. We have a wonderful new website, uchpchicago.org. Love for you to go out there. Our sermons, our songs, all kinds of information is out there, as well as you can go to our Facebook page. We are dropping information um, that is very powerful and informative that might help you and be of benefit. So we'd love for you to hit us up, visit our Facebook page, and please visit our website. Stay connected. And last, I want to say stay positive. It's so easy in this era to really go south. Stay positive. Continue to nourish your spirit. Continue to listen to good music, good food, and good words. Stay positive. I want to say that I was really excited this past Sunday. We had over 200 views uh, during our worship celebration, and we were so happy to have you all out there. It was so good to hear people leaving comments, um, to know that you were out there. This is the not, not the way we choose to worship, but we're excited that we're hearing all kinds of reports that my seniors, that people that don't necessarily uh, care for technology are working with it and making the best they can. This past Sunday we learned even somebody watched us on TV. They were able to use AirPlay. Thank you to the grandkids and the grandparents, I mean not the grandparents, the grandkids and, and kids and, and people that are helping one another, even strangers, helped one of our members. We thank you uh, that you joined us this Sunday. We're coming back live again. We'd love to have you. Please spread the word. We're going to have another special rendition by our violinist, Edith Yokely, our wonderful musician, Joe Wilkerson, and we have a special soloist. And we have a special message just for you. So please, whatever you do, spread the word and meet us again this Sunday at 11 a.m. at United. Last, I want to share a poem. In this season of staying at home and staying connected and staying positive, I'd like to offer these words, words that continue to hit me and impress upon me is the word kindness. 
that in this season, let us continue to be kind. I want to thank all of you all for being kind, for being there for one another. I want to read this poem by Naomi. It's a popular poem, and it's called Kindness. I'm going to transition a little bit here and get some extra eyes. Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. Feel the future dissolve in a moment like salt in a weakened broth. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go so you know how desolate the landscape can be between the regions of kindness. How you ride and ride thinking the bus will never stop. The passengers eating maize and chicken will stare at the window forever. Before you learn the tender gravity of kindness, you must travel where the Indian in a white poncho lies dead by the side of the road. You must see how this could be, how he too was someone who journeyed through the night with plans and the simple breath that kept him alive. Before you know kindness as the deepest thing inside, you must wake up with sorrow. You must speak to it till your voice catches the thread of all sorrows and you see the size of the cloth. Then it is only kindness that makes sense anymore. Only kindness that ties your shoes and sends you out into the day to gaze at bread. Only kindness that raises its head from the crowd of the world to say, it is you I have been looking for, and then goes with you everywhere, like a shadow or a friend. So stay positive, stay connected, and please stay at home. As always, it is so good always talking to my united family, my united uh, community. And may God be with you until we meet again. Amen.